Hello, everyone. This is Kazan Base. Today we will learn about improvement of the efficiency by performing 5S. 5S is not performed in pursuit of external beauty, but in order to raise productivity and quality of work through the improvement of efficiency. This time, let's learn how to improve efficiency by sorting and setting an order in the form of a game. So, let's get started with the lecture. Mr. Kai, last time, you have taught me that waste would be reduced by performing 5S, and I have tried to explain it to everyone on site, but honestly, it seems that they haven't get the point yet. I see. I suppose it is better to have the people on site experience it actually rather than to explain in words, otherwise it is difficult to imagine what is going on. That is right. Nevertheless, if they are not convinced to some extent in advance, I suppose they will not take actions positively. Is there any good way to deal with the problem? Well, maybe it is better to have them check the effect in a game of sorting and setting in order. Do you want to have a try? Game? I would love to. Then follow me please. Now, let's play a game of sorting and setting in order. The procedure of the game is simple. Many numbers will be displayed from now, and please pay attention only to the numbers from 1 to 20 and find the missing ones. There can be more than one number. Well, I'm pretty good at searching and finding mistakes, maybe I can find them right away. I'm looking forward to it. Are you ready? Let's get started. Well, in this case, it should be better to search in order from 1. 1. 2. 3. Uh-oh. There is no 4. Ah, there it is. 5. 6. 7. 8. Oh? There is no 9. Maybe I just couldn't find it. Ah, there is no 9 indeed. 10. 11. 12. 13. 14. 15. 16. Oh? 16. Ah! There it is! 17. 17. Whom? No 17. Ah? There is no 17. 18. 19. 20. I'm done, there are no 9 and 17. How many seconds did I take? You are right, and you took 72 seconds. How was it? Was it difficult? Yes, it was more difficult than I expected. No matter how good you are at searching, it will take time. As I have concentrated my mind on doing it, so I use my physical strength as well. Yes, it is pretty tiring, isn't it? I think it is difficult even for a person with physical strength to do similar work all day long. Absolutely impossible. Next, let's try again with the numbers we used just now which have been arranged. Let's experience the effect of sorting. How many seconds can it be shortened then? Are you ready? Let's get started. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7 Ah, there is no 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 Ah, there is no 19 20 I'm done, the missing numbers are 9 and 17 You are right and you took 32 seconds. The time taken is much shorter. Yes. It was a lot easier than the first time. I suppose I can do it all day in this way. Really? Well, in the end let's try again with the numbers set in order. Let's check the effect of setting in order. How many seconds can it be shortened this time? Let's get started. I see. 5, 13 and 14. Yes, you are right. You can tell the missing numbers with a glance, even don't have to count it. 
This is the effect of sorting and setting in order. Sorting and setting in order are the approaches to eliminate the waste of searching in the first place, rather than shortening the searching time. I see. If sorting and setting in order have been established, you shouldn't have to search for things at all in the first place. After trying this game, I realized once again that sorting and setting in order are directly connected to work efficiency. Now, Meal, let's calculate the annual loss cost for searching things in the following three cases. Sorting and setting in order have not been established. Only sorting has been established and both sorting and setting in order have been established. As the prerequisites of the calculation, let's assume that the searching occurred 10 times a day, for 10 person in the workplace and 200 working days a year. Please calculate the annual loss cost if the labor cost is 3000 yen per hour. First, how about the case? In case of 1, it took 72 seconds each time, so it will take 400 hours a year if calculated. When converted to cost, it will be 1.2 million yen. Well, let's calculate the case 2 next. In case of 2, it took 32 seconds each time. So it will take 177.8 hours a year if calculated. When converted to cost, it will be 533,400 yen. And at last, let's calculate the case 3. In case of 3, as the answer was immediately known, so if it is calculated as 1 second each time, it will take 5.6 hours a year. When converted to cost, it will be 16,800 yen. What is the amount difference between 1, 2 and 3 then? The amount difference between 1 and 2 is 666,600 yen and 1,183,200 yen between 1 and 3. That is right. Do you think it is a large amount? Or do you think it's not a big deal? I think it is quite a large amount actually. Just searching for things can lead to such a large loss annually. I'm very surprised because I have never thought about it in terms of money before. I guess so. The calculation is based on the assumption that there are 10 people in one workplace this time. However, even though the loss for searching is 1.2 million yen in one workplace, if this is what happens in 10 workplaces, it will be 12 million yen. If it is calculated in this way for 10 years, a loss cost of 120 million yen will incur due to searching for things. 120 million yen. That will really be a waste of money. It's such a large amount that just a little lack of sorting and setting in order cannot taken as an excuse. That's right. Do you understand that the lack of sorting and setting in order are directly connected to productivity improvement and cost reduction now? I think it's a good idea to be aware of whether there is any waste of searching occur in your workplace. I see. I will try to find out if there is any waste of searching. And I would like to challenge the game you taught me this time with the people on site. I'm sure it will give them a realistic image as for me. Now, we make a summary of today's lecture. Waste of searching occur due to the lack of sorting and setting in order, and it can be a large amount if converted to monetary amount. Sorting and setting in order aim for a condition where searching is not needed in the first place, but not shortening the searching time. Please investigate whether there is any waste of searching in your workplace. That's all about today's lecture. So, see you at the next theme.